And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen yeah, burn-off yeah. igniters yeah. initiate. Seven, six, five, four-stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Harry, good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be for the vehicle to pass through max Q at about 1 minute and 9 seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. traveling 607 miles per hour. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust quiet here in the loops of mission control. Four core stage engines are throttling down ahead of passing through max Q. traveling at 1,420 miles per hour. The four core stage engines are back at maximum thrust. The next major milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison at about two minutes and 11 seconds into the flight, so about 30 seconds from now. Again, quiet here in Mission Control Houston as teams continue monitoring the flight of Artemis 1. We're now 16 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, traveling over 2,800 miles per hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison and shortly thereafter. confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters. Now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange. Two minutes and 36 seconds into the flight.